All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right in these times that we're in today. Now, today, I want to discuss about masturbation and porn, OnlyFans, sexual morality, Sodom and Gomorrah, and lust. I feel like I want to talk about this topic because we live in a very over-sexualized society. You know, we live in a real lustful times. We live in a very hypersexual uh, society. You know, sex sells, lust sells as well. There's sex everywhere you see it, whether it's on TV or shown excessively through music or movies that we watch or even just scrolling through our timeline, whether we're on Instagram or Twitter or Snapchat or whatever. There's thirst traps everywhere, you know what I mean? And in these times that we're in, it's just like, Everyone is really selling their bodies. Everyone is really just promoting that sexual immorality like very excessively over and over and over, you know. And this is just the world that we're in now. You know, this is Sodom and Gomorrah 2.0. And sexual immorality is so much levels and different ways to talk about it. You know, you have porn, you have prostitution, you have masturbation, um, all these different kinks and fetishes and fantasies or whatnot, you know, all those things boil down to sexual immorality, you know. And this is nothing new under the sun. This has been going on for ancient times. There's always been harlots and prostitution. There's always been uh, things of that nature. And then the more extreme level of sexual morality is sex trafficking. Um, sex trafficking is a very evil, huge empire, huge business that goes on daily. Um, there's a lot of victims of sex trafficking to have t- different types of stories and testimonies about their experiences in that environment. You know, how people get kidnapped and how people get, you know, forced into those lifestyles. And then there's also people that went through a lot of trauma and a lot of abuse growing up. People been raped before, been molested, all those uncomfortable things that they experience. It turns them into a sex worker. It turns them into a prostitute. It turns them into... Um, doing porn or selling their body or what have you. So many people have different stories and experiences with these type of um, topics, you know what I mean? And what I want to do is I want to pray for all those people out there that are currently um, dealing with sex trafficking or whatnot. I pray that you get set free and delivered. I pray that you heal from that traumatic, crazy experiences. Um, I pray that any person that's into uh, porn or OnlyFans or uh, sex work, I pray that you get set free and delivered from that and that you could cleanse yourself up and move on to something better for yourself. You know what I mean? You're more worth than what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So our body is a temple and we got to really take care of it. You know what I mean? And um, what I really want to do is just pour my heart out to all those people out there, you know, because it's easy to be all self-righteous and judgmental and just criticize people like that. But, you know, everyone has different paths. Everyone has different phases they're going through. And those type of people, we have to pray for them. We have to ask God to have favor on them and ask them to be forgiven for those things. You know, people that are strippers or prostitutes or hookers or, or porn models and stuff like that. Like, we have to pray for those type of people. We have to set those people free. We have to cleanse those people, you know. We have to cast demons out of those people. You get what I'm saying? Because all sins are bad, you know what I mean? But it's like with sexual sins, with sexual energy, that ha- that tends to have a real strong hold on people. That tends to really uh, get a grasp on people, you know what I mean? So we have to truly pray for those people and hope that they get set free and cleansed from that, you know. Um, sexual immorality is a real thing and I just want to read some scriptures concerning that and just go from there the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 flee immorality every other sin that a man commits is outside the body but the immoral man sins against his own body the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 2 but because of immoralities each man is to have his own wife and each woman is to have her own husband. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1. It is actually reported that there is immorality among you, 
and immorality of such a kind as does not exist does not exist even among the Gentiles that someone has his father's wife. The book of Ephesians chapter five verse three. But immorality or any impurity or greed must not even be named among you, as is proper among saints. The book of first Corinthians chapter six verse thirteen. Food is for the stomach, and the stomach is for food, but God will do away with both of them. Yet the body is not Im for immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord is for the body. The book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that, that is, you abstain from sexual immorality. The book of Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 26. You also played the harlot with the Egyptians. Your lustful neighbors and multiplied your harlotry to make me hungry, to make me angry. The book of Matthew chapter 19, verse 9. And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, except for immorality and marries another woman, commits adultery. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators nor idolaters, nor adulterers, adulterers, nor the effeminate, nor homosexuals. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 8, nor let us act immoral immorality, immorally, as some of them did, and 23,000 fell in one day. The book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 19, now the deeds of the flesh are evident, which are immorality, impurity, sensuality, the book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 7. Just as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them, since they in the same way as has indulged in these gross immorality and went after strange flesh, are exhibited as an example in undergoing the punishment of eternal fire. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 14. But I have a few things against you, because you have therefore some who hold the teaching of Balaam, who kept teaching Balak to put a stumbling block before the sons of Israel, to eat things sacrificed to idols, and to commit acts of immorality. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. But actually I wrote to you not to associate with any so-called brother if he is an immoral person, or covetous, or an idolater, or a reveler, or a drunkard, or a swindler, not even to eat with such one. The book of Revelation, chapter 9, verse 21. And they did not repent for their murders, nor their sorceries, nor their immorality, nor of their thefts. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 32. But I say to you that everyone who divorces his wife except for the reason of unchastity makes her commit adultery, and whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 21. I gave her time to repent, and she does not want to repent of her immorality. The book of Numbers, chapter 25, verse 1. While Israel remained at Shittim, the people began to play the harlot with the daughters of Moab. The book of Mark, chapter 7, verse 21. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed the evil thoughts of fornications, thefts, murders, adulteries. The book of Acts, chapter 15, verse 20. But that we write to them that they abstain from these things, con con contaminated by idols and from fornication and from what is strangled from blood. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 12, verse 21. I am afraid that when I come again, my God may humiliate me before you, and I may mourn over many of those who have sinned in the past and not repented of impurity, immorality, and sensuality, which they have practiced. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 19. For out of the heart come evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, and slanders. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 10. I did not at all mean with the immoral people of this world or with the covetous and swindlers of with idolaters, for then you would have to go out of the world. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 7, verse, verse 1. Now concerning the things about which you wrote, it is good for a man to not touch a woman. The book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 21. Envy and drunkenness, carousing, and things like these, of which I forewarn you, just as I have forewarned you, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 9. I wrote you in my letter not to associate with immoral people. 
the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 19 and they having become callous have given themselves over to sensuality for the practice of every kind of impurity with greediness the book of Acts chapter 15 verse 29 that you abstain from these things sacrificed to idols and from blood and from things strangled and from fornication if you keep yourselves free from such things you will do well farewell The book of Acts chapter 21 verse 25 But concerning the Gentiles who have believed We wrote having decided that they should abstain from meat Sacrifice to idols and from blood From what is strangled and from fornication The book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 5 Therefore consider the members of your earthly body As dead to immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire And greed which amounts to idolatry the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 16, that there be no immoral or godless person like Esau who sold his own birthright for a single meal. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 4, marriage is to be held in honor among all, and the marriage bed is to be undefiled. For fornicators and adulterers, God will judge. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 10, and the moral men and the homosexuals and kidnappers and liars and perjurers and whatever else is contrary to sound teaching. The book of Revelation chapter 22 verse 15. Outside are the dogs and the sorcerers and the immoral persons and the murderers and the idolaters and everyone who loves and practices lying. The book of Leviticus chapter 18 verse 6. None of you shall approach any blood relative of his to uncover nakedness. I am the Lord. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 21 through 24. Then they shall bring out the girl to the doorway of her father's house, and the men out of her city shall stone her to death because she has committed an act of folly in Israel by playing the harlot in her father's house. Thus you shall purge the evil from among you. If a man is found lying with a married woman, then both of them shall die. The man who lay up with the woman and the woman, thus you shall purge the evil from Israel. If there is a girl who is a virgin engaged to a man, and another man finds her in the city and lies with her, then you shall bring them both out to the gate of that city, and you shall stone them to death. The girl, because she did not cry out in the city, and the man, because he has violated his neighbor's wife, thus you shall purge the evil from among you. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is to be held in honor among all. And the marriage bed is to be undefiled for fornicators and adulterers and adulterers God will judge. So as you can see throughout the Old and New Testament, how serious sexual sins are, how uh, how serious and intense sexual morality is. And today, a lot of people battle with porn and masturbation. They deal with um, porn addictions or what have you. People are doing only fans. There's prostitution. There's sex trafficking. You know, there's webcam models, there's uh, prostitutes, there's all types of stuff going on sexually in this world. Um, and, you know, my heart goes out to all these people out there that's battling with those things. You know, we have to really pray for those people and heal those people. You know what I mean? Because those sexual sins, those sexual energies are very strong. And um, sex is a very powerful thing. You know what I mean? Uh, sex is actually divine and meant to be a holy act and it's supposed to be a beautiful act but the society and pop culture and the movies and the tv shows and the music and the porn industry and sex trafficking has totally uh, corrupted sex and from a more historical biblical uh, standpoint the fallen angels they had sex with um women of the earth in the end times. That's how giants were created, and that's how different types of um, unnormal creatures were made because the fallen angels, they uh, had sex with women on earth, and they brought forth all these different uh, giants and different creatures or what have you, and Nephilim and things of that nature. So um, sex, the womb, the seed, sperm, all those things are powerful. We don't understand the power of those things spiritually because... Um, this society waters it down You know what I mean But um, sex is a very powerful thing man And our temples Belong to the most high And we can't defile it You know what I'm saying But um, 
I pray to God that anyone who has a porn addiction or who's addicted to porn, I pray that, you know, you get set free from that. You have better self-control. You have better urges. You have better uh, composure and keep yourself occupied and busy to where you don't have to do that. Um, I pray that anyone who's doing OnlyFans, I pray that you get set free from that lifestyle as well. Or whoever's like a webcam model or does porn or anything or sells their body. I pray that you get set free from that and that you give your life to Christ. You set your life over for God and you get cleansed from that lifestyle. I pray that anyone who's dealing with sex trafficking or being kidnapped or going missing or anybody that's ever been molested or raped, I pray to God that you are healed and that you heal from that trauma and that you seek help and counsel and comfort through those painful situations, you know, and, um, I pray that we all really uh, just, you know, clean our lives up together, you know what I mean? Because everyone has been exposed to sex in a certain point of their lives, whether early in their childhood or through someone, or through peer pressure, or through school or activities or things like that. So it's very important that we have self-control and that we have more awareness and we be, care we be more mindful and careful of our own bodies, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to just talk about that and go from there. I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get baptized and you start your life over for the Lord. I pray that your life get better and that you get new beginnings and you become new a new creature in Christ. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.